What up people, Moritz from Wagifa.com here. I want to talk a little bit about learning from resources and people that you don't completely agree with today. The reason why I came up with this topic initially is that today at work I was listening to a podcast episode by the one and only Tim Ferriss. Gotta say, I love his podcast. It's so informative. It's hilarious at times. The people that he brings on are really outstandingly successful. Might it be as professional athletes, might it be as business people. Um, he has a lot of creative types on his podcast. It's really amazing what kind of network that dude has. Anyway, today, today's episode that I listened to was a guy that I actually had never heard of before, but apparently he's super successful on YouTube. I gotta look up his name again here. His name is Shay Carl. He has a YouTube channel called Shay Tarts. Um, just checked out a couple of his videos right now. Um, as I said, I have never heard of him before, before I listened to that podcast. So. The thing is, um, I don't completely agree with a lot of the things he says. Um, he has like a, to me, pretty weird religious touch. Uh, he loves to talk about his religion and his faith and being a Mormon and <laughs> that just doesn't relate to me. Checked out his YouTube videos. I can't really say that I like them either. Mm, I can see why a lot of people would like them, but I'm just not one of them. As a matter of fact, I think he really stands for the kind of videos and uh, the, the kind of entertainment that I find kind of off-putting and I don't want to make the same kind of videos that he does. Now, having said that, at the same time, it was so interesting to listen to that dude and I learned so much about YouTubing, I learned so much about gaining a wider audience, really reaching a lot of people with your thoughts and your ideas and being creative and just putting stuff out there and you know sometimes facing the heat, um, sometimes facing a little bit of backlash. He also talked about that. He talked about some other challenges in his life, like, um, you know, abusing of alcohol and losing 100 pounds. He was like massively overweight in the past or whatever. So there was a lot of value in that, I think it was almost three hours that he talked with Tim. And uh, I was so intrigued by it and I was fascinated by the dude even though what he stands for or what he resembles doesn't really relate to me on a deeper level. But mm, the ideas that he had to share on this podcast and um, the kind of um, attitude that he has towards life really inspired me and it got me thinking. And as a matter of fact, the entire rest of the day at work and later at the gym where I went and now that I was coming home and doing some, some stuff here at my place, um, I kept thinking about the things he said throughout that interview and about things that um, were important to him and to his life and his career as a massively successful YouTuber. So. Even though I couldn't relate to some of his lifestyle choices or even the um, products he puts out, all his YouTube videos, I couldn't really relate to them on a deeper level, but I could relate to um, his thoughts and ideas and values in a way. And he just stimulated my mind. He just stimulated me to think about certain things. And even when I come to the conclusion that I don't agree with uh, certain things he believes in, I still felt inspired because it made me think about certain things and it made me really reflect on my values and what I want to stand for in life and in this society. So I figured this is exactly what good interviewing, good media, good podcasts, good videos, good uh, written pieces should do. They should stimulate your mind. You don't have to agree with everything but Everything that you consume as quote-unquote media should be stimulating to your mind. It should be something that you first have to think about before you can either disregard it or say, okay, this is actually something I can relate to and this is something I agree with. 
So you should find things, you should find media to consume that does that to you, that gives you this kind of nudge to actually think and rethink your values and your value system that you live by. And if it's something that you end up not agreeing with, that's totally fine. I think that's totally cool and you still got the value out of it that you are now certain that you don't agree with something, which can be really valuable as well. If you know what you don't agree with, it's kind of easy to know what you do agree with. Um, you just take the opposite of what you don't agree with. So this is something that I was thinking about today. Uh, that dude, forgot his name again already. Anyway, his channel is called Shade Hearts. You can check it out as well. Um, a lot of family stuff and doing weird stuff with his kids and whatnot. I didn't really get it, it doesn't resonate with me. But as I said, the, the dude stimulated my mind and this is exactly what I want to do with these videos as well. I think uh, media like that, any kind of media should be stimulating to the mind for the good or for the bad. Um, whether you like it or whether you disagree with what is said there, just find something that is stimulating and not just mind numbing. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, do whatever you want with this video. Talk to you next time.